first up, let's talk about framework. So this is, uh, got it up there on the screen. This is a very interesting announcement. I'm, and I'm, I'm crafting a post right now. Something that is pretty cool. And right. talk about out of left field, man. Yeah. I mean, just. Not ready for that. I'm curious. I, mean, I can't wait to see what the code name is. Yeah, so. like we have no idea what the code name is on this device. We never saw anything in the repository because I don't even know what we'd be looking for. Yeah, I don't know that they would, they would have to do anything special. Because uh, yeah. as long as the motherboard meets up with all the EC yeah. stuff and the. It it you know, be some, some of them, especially a company that's never made a Chromebook before, and I mean, we wouldn't be in there looking for the word framework, but I'm assuming maybe somewhere there's a framework email, but maybe they're, hmm. they were smart about it and they got a Chromium, because a lot of these developers have Chromium emails. Right. Um, yeah. Samsung and Asus are the only ones that use like their company emails. But I have a sneaking suspicion that Samsung they're not, is not, not anymore. anymore. Yeah, so. I can't believe they're not working on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm anxious as well because this is a, obviously a very unique device, but it is also a processor that we uh, that is new to Chrome OS. Yeah, so. yeah there's there's just so much to talk about with this with so, this Chromebook. So yeah. like, so I, start kind of broad. What what exactly is framework? Has it existed in other like with other OSs and, and want, what can you do with this I want to say framework is, I know they've got an 11th gen. I think they did a 10th gen as well. I so believe so. A couple of years, two, three years at least. Um, I could be misinformed there. It could be they even older. They Linux also? Uh, yeah, I think. I think so. I mean, even if they don't, it wouldn't be hard to get one of their Windows machines. And Yeah, because I remember on their blog, they've got that. Uh, somebody oh, yeah, that, that first Linux. post is something Linux. Yeah, That's right. I'm yeah. pretty sure they do a Linux distro that you can get with it. Um, huh. But yeah, the idea is um, pretty simple. Uh, it's funny, like as laptops have gotten thin and phones have gotten smaller and stuff squishes, like we have to solder more things. Yeah. So things have been less like MacBooks you used to be able to crack them open mm -hmm. and at least upgrade the storage and RAM. Yep. And even I remember uh, people changing like logic boards and stuff, which is basically the mother motherboard of the device. That all used to be doable. Uh, none of that stuff's doable anymore. You crack open a, a Windows laptop or a MacBook or something, or most Chromebooks, and not a whole lot you can do to yeah. it. Yeah, uh, Windows devices a lot, most times will have like a little door to <clears throat> upgrade the RAM or replace the RAM, but everything else is just kind of... <clears throat> yeah, modularity has gone yeah. uh, gone away in, in the pursuit of thinness and lightness right. and stuff. And so uh, back in the day, you know, when PCs were newer and you had towers and stuff, and we still have towers, but most people buy laptops now, it seems. Um you know, those are obviously very modular if you know what you're doing. Like if you understand how to pick the right motherboard and, you know, hook up all your cables and all that kind of stuff, then, you know, you could build something that's unique and go get all the pieces and, and yeah. put it together however you choose or see fit. And people still do that. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. Uh, it's just not the norm anymore. And so what's happened is people have gotten away from that, from expecting modularity in their laptops and framework kind of comes and puts all that on its head and basically has a, a, a laptop and it's just one that's mm -hmm. they build the laptop and that laptop is built of pieces that you can buy in their market and replace as you see fit. And interestingly enough, we keep looking at this picture because it's just so, it's so cool. So yeah. fascinating to think about. There's QR codes on each of these little pieces. Yep. I mean, heck even on the fan over the motherboard yeah. there, do you see their logo sitting on it? Like it's very thoughtfully put together inside the chassis as well where each of these pieces is liftable uh you know, just pop the band off and you can even see on some of the bands and stuff that some of the uh uh what do you call those uh cables the ribbon cables yeah instead of being thin and easy to tear they're like double reinforced and all that kind of stuff so yep. you can just grab them and pull them even some of them have like little finger hooks and wow. you know a spot to pull um and all the pieces that make up this laptop and it's again it's not these laptops it's the the laptop like that that's it that's one laptop the screen the bezel the chassis all of it. You can go to their site right now and buy a DIY kit and get the pieces and, and assemble it yourself if right. you wanted to. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that um, unless you're just into that. But the idea being, if all the pieces are completely modular, uh, and there's some interesting modularity going on on the outside as well, but I mean, we're talking speakers, everything, all of it's modular. Anything that goes wrong or fails or you damage on this device can be replaced. So, I, oh, I bent the frame. We'll buy a new frame. Right. Probably that, take all your stuff out and put it in a new frame. Yeah, and that's, you know? the, that's the difference between this and because you hear about devices that are field serviceable, and a lot of Chromebooks are field serviceable, yeah. like for EDU and stuff. But that's, 
IT guys, tech guys who have field manuals on how to dismantle and replace the keyframes and things like that. It's not an easy task. No, and if you've you ever have taken a tools apart, and everything. Yeah, too. if you've ever taken apart an electronic, you know oftentimes you'll get it back together and something's just not right. It's not clicking together right, it doesn't fit right, the fit isn't whatever. This is not that. This no. is this is this is it's not quite Legos, but it's literally like everything snaps into place, which right. is so just and so awesome. There's a handful of screws, you know, like that comes with its own screwdriver, by the way, too, in the box. That's which made of like eighty percent cool. post recycled. Most of it's made of between thirty and fifty percent post consumer recycled stuff. Is that if there's a logo um, on it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Be cool. Oh, on the screwdriver? Yeah. Uh, I would assume so. Yeah, nice I little, almost guarantee nice it. little, uh, <laughs> nice little prop you yeah. can use. But the idea being here, you know, it's, it's easy to repair, but it's also easy to upgrade. So, um, I mean, and we're talking the bezel, the bezel on the screen is magnetic. So it just magnetically drops into place and you put the keyframe down over top of it. And Did I see in one of the videos that somebody was snapping on an orange bezel? So yeah, they, they sell three colors. Cool they colors. sell the, the black one that's in that picture an orange and then a, uh, like a white light gray kind yeah, of color, cool. um, that you can pop around it. But you know, it's, they could rest on that and just be like, cool, you can upgrade all this kind of stuff. And here's this bum processor and four gigs of Ram and, just be happy with the fact that you have a computer you can replace, but it's not that it's high end, pretty much everything. You've got a, a what looks like to me the same panel that's in the uh, seven thirteen, the same version of some sort of that panel that's in the the seven thirteen and five thirteen from Acer, uh, and a similar version of that panel that's in the um, HP Elite Dragonfly, thirteen and a half inch, uh, three by two. 2256 by 1504 resolution. Okay, like it's so super it's super bizarre. It's the exact same resolution, same size, same aspect ratios. I'm like, it. Some company was like, hey, we're gonna make a good, great, and best version of this of this screen, and it's been used in lots of laptops yeah. over over the period. Like, I think one of the Surface devices uses mm-hmm. something similar, and uh, great screen. I've said it countless times about other Chromebooks. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite screen layout. It is the right, like it is correct in all ways. It, it, <laughs> it's just right. Like it, it is best. It's, it's enough to work on by itself. Yeah. It's uh, tall enough that you, you're not wasting space on the sides, but it also is condensed enough that when you close the laptop down, it's, you know, reasonable high enough definition that everything's clear. Like it's great. And it's 400 plus nits. So boom, you got the screen screens. Good. The chassis is aluminum excellent this, mm-hmm. they could have just been like hey here's a plastic chassis who cares you're gonna disassemble it it's a lego it's duplo you know yeah uh it's but it's not that it's it's aluminum i would assume based on some reviews i've i've looked at of the windows devices that it's probably gonna be parts of it that don't feel quite as like cohesive did yeah. as like a macbook or something like that because you can take it apart with a few screws right. like so I think people have to temper their expectations on some of those things, and it's a magnetically attaching bezel. Like most bezels have sixty-five snaps on them that you'll break if you yeah, try to take them off. Break them when they're, you take them apart. They're terrible. Yeah. Uh, this one just, you know, lifts off, which is awesome. But also, again, you have to consider what you're what you're working with here. Um, but then, you know, everything in there lifts out, so the motherboard can come out as one piece. Uh, your RAM module comes out, your your memory, your Wi-Fi adapter, your because uh, that's got your Bluetooth in it as well, your battery, your speakers, all of it can be taken out and put in. And so not only is it uh, repairable, like you drop it and bust that screen, you, you can go on Framework right now and buy that screen. Again, get it, comes in, pop the thing, pop this one on, close it back up, done. It's fixed. Fix it yourself. Uh, but it's infinitely upgradable as well. So... Right now they're on 12th gen Alder Lake, and so you know it comes with um, the one the Chromebook they're doing is this, and I'll let Gabe talk about the. I don't really remember the cores and stuff, but the uh, Core i5 12 oh, 1240 p. p. Yeah, fast Core i5 12th gen processor, eight gigs of RAM, two hundred fifty six gigs of NVMe storage, four hundred nit screen, backlit keyboard, fingerprint scanner. You had me. You're like you got it. Right, that's all the specs I'm looking for. Good to go. Because this is this is a clamshell device. Correct? Yeah, so no com- no converting. And I did see it. That screen is not touchscreen. Right. I don't know that they, they have, have one. I don't think they have an option for that. But it doesn't mean that could add one down the road next week. A, a touch version of that screen. We know they exist. Obviously, they're on lots of Chromebooks. Could show up and they right. just go. Oh, the code's this one already in. there in Chrome OS. So yeah. I mean, so yeah. there there's a chance that comes. And that's the beauty of this. Like we get to 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th gen Intel. Uh, 
devices and they go hey buy that motherboard and yeah it's going to cost you some money it's not like oh you just swap them for free but ostensibly you could sell that motherboard on like if you pull it out and be like hey i've got a 12th gen core i5 uh framework motherboard if somebody wants it sell it on ebay and get some money back or they for do it. a trade-in program something yeah because yeah. i mean it's like it's like <clears throat> pc guys you know you upgrade to the newest uh graphics card you right. know and there's somebody wanting it's not one. like the graphics card just don't work or whatever they right. work you know so so and so, and so you could upgrade that you could mm-hmm. upgrade up to 64 gigs of, of ram <laughs> and up to a terabyte of storage and somebody asked in our Patreon, like, well, you know, I don't see anything but the standard 8256 layout, you know, like, because you can pre-order it now. Uh, and I was just like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, if you want more RAM, just go to Amazon and buy a stick of RAM. And when it comes in, pop the screws out, pop the RAM in, close it. Like, so it's upgradable as time goes on. So if, even if stuff breaks or starts breaking down, you can get a new version of that thing instead of buying a whole new device. Yeah. And that's their whole shtick. Like make it easy to repair but also make it easy to upgrade and and kind of fun and every one of those pieces has a qr code you scan it it gives you a walkthrough a guide and a video of how you need to go about doing that particular piece of repair or replace it's just so thoughtfully done i just i love it so much and i want i really do want to love it enough that when it shows up like this is this might be the first chromebook i personally buy for myself in a while like i might purchase it to be like hey I'm keeping this, and I'll upgrade it as time goes on, and cool. this yeah. is my laptop. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching this clip of the Chromecast. If you want to watch the full episode, it's linked down in the description. This is just a little click, little click, little little cli- not, well, click. not a click, not a click, it's a clip, a clip, clip. with a P. With a P. It's a little segment. Like a nugget. Little, little, a little tease of the full episode. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to watch that one, go check it out. It's a sip. link. A little sip. <laughs> just, just a sip. Or a little sip of fresh roasted coffee there. Uh, if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. Go in there and click subscribe and click the notification bell icon so that you get an alert when we publish other clips from the Chromecast podcast. All right. We'll catch you in the next one. See you. <laughs>